this video I want to go through Wire Builder Houdini Digital Asset, which is updated version of the previous one, which is a much this is going to be much faster because we have inputs on top of the HDA and it's much clearer to work with. So I'm gonna go through it. So first of all, first input is gonna require you to put down a NURB core. So this curve I made, just put down it and connect it to the first one. It's going to automatically create this curve. There are a couple options for the subdivision of this curve. First one is just using the the resolution of the curve. So you can see that with this option, we're gonna get more resolution where it's more of a curvature and less where it's more straight. So, but also we have a traditional traditional option for it to be subdivided into equal parts so there are some options there are some ways that you can in some situations you may be required to make something like this when you want to twist the, the wire so that there are equal amount of resolution in every part so but for me default is going to work for now fine so now Let's go to the wire style control. There are a couple of default ones. So in wire style control, you can select the one. The one is going to basically going to switch to built-in wire style, which is basically just with four wires. Which you can change the diameter and then just the actual size of it. So like that. Of course, you can change the resolution. These duplicators are going to disappear when only the right style is selected, so that's just the previous one. But I'm going to show what the duplication is. So then you can also roll, full twist, you can twist them around. You can see in this option, like we are getting nice results here, but in here there's not enough resolution, so that's where the maybe the second one comes in more handy, so that it equalizes the subdivisions. Another shape you can have is the third one. The third one is basically a basically infinite amount of wires you want. So in these duplicators, you can duplicate like that. And then you can of course twist them and make cool wire shapes like that. Now let's go back to the regular one. Now I want to talk about the caps. So basically the caps are the ends of the each wire side. You can have, so first of all, these have to be inputted in. So right now we don't have anything, so I'm going to put down a box. Important thing to remember is that you have to create your details to the positive Z axis, so like that. So you can see that the detail is, is is facing to the positive Z, so that ensures we will have a right, right position when we pipe these in. So you can see the last three are the custom ones. So if we want to custom cap one and two, we just go and put them in. And in here, you can change the cap input way. So put it to the one. You can see we have copied to the end of it, and in the cap options, you can scale both of these in, scale them in, and, scale, and uniformly scale them, so that we have a fit that you want. And for the custom wire style, it's basically the same thing. So let's put down a circle, and let's say. Uh, Let's face it to the Z, like that. And now let's maybe take this and make it not a circle, but a kind of a different shape. Maybe smaller, like that. And now let's just pipe this in to the last one. And the options, wire style select, we just select the last option. You can see we have basically copied it. And in this wire select, we can scale it in. 
is the second one scale is going to work. I'm going to change these so that these actually disappear when you don't need them. So, and basically, they have not a round wire type, a custom type like that. Another option in this digital asset is to put in a secondary shape. So, the third one is the secondary shape. So, what I have done made this tube, made sure it's in a positive z axis, and then I just pipe it in inside the third one. And then on top, you can select between ZBrush and custom inputs. So I'm gonna put to the custom. You can see, I'm basically, gonna copy this tube as a secondary shape for our wire. So we can uniformly scale them, kind of like stretch it out. And as long as you have enough resolution, it should look fine. Also, control the number of copies. Also, the duplication has a its own pivot so you can actually move around and also something like that also you can do offset but usually I do not touch it so basically this is the scale to the length it's basically going to make sure that it ends and starts with the shape and we have a zero it just means that it's the shape is not stretched out by the path before modifier so I just leave it at that and change something like in here so that's that and also there are one option more having to import as ZBrush assets so what I have done this is the go Z import node just click on it and we have these shapes what we can do and just put it inside the second one and then in this toolkit you can just go to the ZBrush option and then in a secondary shape you can select the shape scale it so you can see it and you can basically cycle between all the shapes that we have inside the ZBrush set the ZBrush file import so one thing to note that all of these are named after the number so the one real doesn't count because ZBrush automatically names the first subtool, but for the rest of them, basically what I have done is name them after 10 and up. And in this tool, you can see you have a slider that it's you can select the shape, and so if it could have 10, it's going to delete everything that's not a name of 10. So that's how we know, that's how we can do this. And also, this is the same thing with the caps so let's go to the caps and if you change the cap input way to the first one you can see that they changes to the same ones and we can also change them into something like this scale them out scale them bigger something like this and also the second one something more like that Make it bigger, offset them like that, and you can just cycle between the shapes, whatever you want. Well, let's make it like this one. And I think that's it for this toolkit overview. And I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.